afternoon, and uh, welcome to the Sweet 16, the 16th annual Mass Band Festival here at the Mariners School, Bangkok. If this is the first time to this event, uh, we welcome you. Uh, you're in for a treat this afternoon uh, of music. Um, all of our festivals in the next month, and there are five of them this year, so the band festival starts that out this weekend, and then in three weeks we have the Strings Festival, followed by two choral festivals, and the same weekend we're hosting an ISTA conference with 120 uh, theatrical students uh, for a symposium here on that, that same weekend. Uh, so about a thousand students will be involved in all those. And with each of those festivals, the philosophy has been and continues to be one of many into one. Uh, so each of the students uh, from the eight different schools represented from as far away as Malaysia uh, at this festival this weekend have been working uh, in their independent schools on the masked band music that you'll hear today. And then they come together for what is, see, excuse me, sorry, how embarrassing. Tom, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm right in the middle of something. Can I, can I, I can start the concert. Okay, thanks, thanks Tom. Sorry. This is my uh, corny way of reminding you to take your phones out physically if you could right now. And make sure that they're on airplane mode or on silent at least, uh, so as to not to disrupt the concert. Um, if you would just do that right now. And then also just a reminder about pictures while I have my device out here is uh, we have professional photographers here that have taken hundreds of photos during the rehearsal time. They'll continue to take photos during the concert. We also have a professional videographer here and uh, those are available to you through the Flickr site at ISP and we also make the, the videos available to send to grandparents and things like that electronically. We do that so that you can enjoy live music and philosophically we're just trying to get you to unplug just for the next hour to minutes. So we hope you can join us in that. So back to the, the philosophy of the festival is that uh, since yesterday morning at 9 a.m., um, all 240 of these students have come together um, to work on the repertoire that you're going to hear. And I've been in multiple times since that time, and it's just, I think the magic is probably not what you're going to hear in the next hour, but the change from 9 a.m. yesterday morning until now. It's been phenomenal. Uh, under the director, Alan Slater, visiting from Montana. We'll hear a little bit more about him later. Uh, but just that that's what we're celebrating today. We're celebrating learning through the arts. We have the good fortune as uh, teachers in the arts. Uh, we teach kids, uh, but we have the good fortune of teaching that through music, teaching them through music. So we hope you enjoy the concert. Would you please rise for the King's Anthem?
Uh, this is the 16th year, and this is also the largest. I'm very excited for you to hear the wonderful work that these students have been doing uh, for the last three weeks, only three weeks. So uh, we're going to begin tonight the concert today with the ISB Jazz Band, and we'll open up with Green Onions.
It's my pleasure to introduce to you the gentleman who has been working with your sons and daughters uh, the last two days for hours and hours. Al Slater is uh, retired now. He retired a year or so ago. He taught for many years in Kalispell, Montana, and other towns around Montana. Uh, he has had an, uh, an incredible program. Uh, you can read his, his bio in the, the program for today's festival, but uh, that's not what you need to know about Alan. And in fact, I would say it's not all that important because uh, he really loves teaching music, and that shows in his conducting and his working with these students. Uh, he makes them think. He's very good at that. He gets them to question how they're thinking about things, and then has multiple ways of uh, having the students approach an issue that uh, would come up as they were rehearsing. So he's a real master of uh, teaching band, but he's also a wonderful person. I did know Alan many years ago, and I mean many. Uh, we, did, we knew each other briefly as fellow educators, but it's been really a highlight of uh, my time here in Thailand to, to get to know Alan once again. Uh, now as a retired music teacher, but a dear friend, I've had wonderful conversations with him. One of the favorite aspects for me is to watch as he worked with the kids, where his many stories, his wonderful sense of humor, and uh, just how to, uh, how to think about approaching life as, as they move forward from, from today. So uh, with that, we need to get things started, but I just want you to know that we're so proud and happy of, that we could get Alan Slater here to conduct today's Mass Band Festival with over 240 students. Please welcome Mr. Alan Slater.
Um, that piece was entitled Celebration in Song, which this has hopefully been a celebration of music, and we're happy to share it with you today. Uh, we covered a lot of topics, a lot of areas. We're telling some wonderful stories for our music today. This next piece is a great little tune called Encanto by Robert W. Smith. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it. It has a nice little brass ensemble, some soloists, and, and Tom is going to tell you all the soloist names. But we will have them stand at the end of each of the sections so you have a chance to hear them. Several people are there. So, Encanto.
I was able to come in early last week and spend some time in downtown Bangkok and do some traveling and go through <laughs> traffic and oh my gosh, what an amazing experience. I can say this, American driving has way more road rage. So I was trying to get rage across with this piece, but driving didn't really make the connection. But we're going to go on a rampage anyway, and this is the deal, rampage. I think Todd Stafford's too, he creates this really wonderful excitement. Here we go, rampage. shoot to skydive just if you want to do more than once.
We're going to change textures and feeling here. This is a nice, wonderful, quasi-British march. It's entitled Canterbury Walk. So you can imagine yourself on a nice, pleasant journey in the countryside of England. Maybe a little faster. The American speed on there. I can't help myself. But great little march. I think you'll enjoy it. takes uh, a lot of effort to put on a festival of this size and scope, and so we certainly want to acknowledge those people who are crucial to making this event come off successfully. And we want to start right at the top of our school with the administration, Andrew Davies, Graham Scott, Hugo Costessi, Mark DeVries, Kuna Usa Sambu. Uh, all of these people support our music program wholeheartedly, and we deeply appreciate that. Uh, new to our high school this year is our principal, Justin Alexander, and he'll be speaking to you in a bit. And thank you for your support, Justin. And also to Andy Vaughn and Susan Kenobi and uh, Derek Cunnett and Becky Hansbury. They all uh, stop by the rehearsals and listen and make sure that things are running smoothly and always are asking me, what can I do to help? So I deeply appreciate that. No one's more important than this gentleman right here, Mr. Anthony Giles. He has what I think is an almost impossible job. He's the head of arts and activities here at the high school for ISB, and he has an enormous uh, task every year, just organizing all these events. He's, he oversees them all and looks at all the details, and he does a fantastic job. Thank you, Anthony. We, we have wonderful colleagues here at ISB in the music department uh, in the high school. Uh, Andy Marshall and Adriana Grishas, and we thank them for their help. They share a lot of equipment and also help in the planning. And I'm so very fortunate. I have two of the most wonderful colleagues at the middle school who are fantastic band directors. I couldn't be more appreciative of Brent Poling and Kentaro Utagawa. 
And of course, it all starts down in the elementary where I walked into a classroom on Friday and I, I, said, I said afterwards to Mr. Slater, I couldn't teach elementary music because I cry every time I go in those rooms. Those kids are having so much fun. They were singing, we are the change. You know, We're going to change the world. I just loved it. But Matt Enders, Angela Wong, and Dee Dee Marshall do fantastic work in the elementary school. Um, at this time, I'd like to uh, introduce to you the directors from each of the schools that are participating in, participating in the festival this year. And uh, as I say your name, would you please come down? We have a gift for you to show our appreciation. Um, first of all, I think they may have come the farthest from uh, Dalat International School, the island of Penang in Malaysia, Andrew Kearney. Next up, uh, new to the festival this year, but the school has been attending, but now a new band director at Robert E. International School, Claudia Schmitz. Uh, a new school to our festival this year. So excited to have a, another school from Chiang Mai join us, Prempton Nuthalananda School. Almost. I tried. I practiced that. I thought that didn't go as well. I hoped it would. But anyway, uh, just excited. Uh, Dr. Gina Ryan is a wonderful musician and percussion instructor. And uh, she's uh, got some kids really fired up in a band program up there. So she got involved in the festival. Gina Ryan. And from uh, a school that's been attending our festival the last three or four years, a new band director as well. Would you please welcome Harut Boyajian from International School Eastern Seaboard. and a wonderful director with a really fine program. Uh, their first time was last year here at the festival, and so glad to have uh, Harvey Nicholson and his students from Chiang Mai International School. Harvey. <laughs> A good friend. We've been colleagues for many years here in, uh, in Bangkok uh, from Thai Chinese International School, James Carlin. also makes it to the festival every year, Jason Bledsoe from International Community School. <laughs> and from our eighth visiting school, uh, also a school that's here for the first time, all the way from Phuket. Their director is Ms. Paulette Wilkinson. <laughs> British International School, Phuket. I'm still learning that name. I've messed it up a few times, but we're so glad you're here and that your students could join us for the festival this year. At this time, I'll let you go back to your seats, but just a, a very, very sincere thanks for all you did, getting your kids ready for this festival, and for all your, your great job of communicating so this would go smoothly. Thank you. Uh, back 
back up in the back is our one of our uh, workers from the theater staff who has gone above and beyond. He's on the soundboard and the lights, and I can't thank him enough because he came to our rescue today with a lot of different issues. Uh, you probably noticed we couldn't solve the projector light going out, but I think we got everything else figured out. So Kuhn Pla, thank you very much. The head of our theater staff is Kun Sa Tit, and he's joined by Kun Vichai, Kun Pla, Kun Perinya, Kun Han, and Kun Kwong, and they all coordinate to make all of this happen from the, uh, the aspect of lights and sound. For equipment needs, we have a wonderful staff that we call them our BNG staff building and grounds. They move all the chairs, they move all the percussion equipment, they take out the back wall and put up sound shells. I mean, they have just gone so far above and beyond, and I couldn't be more grateful for such a wonderful staff. So thank you to the BNG. Uh, yeah. Thank Mark Kevin for stopping by a few times to help us with some student safety issues. And also, we want to uh, thank very much the, uh, Michelle and the cafeteria staff. Our booster club provided snacks and drinks for all these kids uh, both days. Gray McRae and Taylor Bensby, they both uh, helped out with that, getting that organized. We had some ushers tonight for Trying Music Society and uh, the Fine and Performing Arts Council. Most of all, we want to thank you for being here tonight. Uh, we're very grateful that you're here to share in our music making. And how about one more round of applause for the real stars tonight, which are those students that are up on the stage. Well, as I said, Alan and I have uh, reconnected, and I'm just so grateful. He's a wonderful director. And he has the best attitude. I mean, he's got the smile and he's got the roll with it, and it's okay. It may even have a positive side to it. That's what he said every time I would throw something his way as issues arose. And uh, he made it all work so wonderfully. I, I couldn't be more grateful. And Alan, I have a gift for you and a card. Would you like to? It's in, uh, what do they call it? Bubble wrap because I know you can get that in your suitcase. Yeah, one of the things Alan, as he said, he for days he traveled around Thailand, went up to Ayutthaya, and he just loves visiting the temples and seeing all that. So I got him a picture of uh, some temples, and I want to thank uh, Kun Lert, who's uh, taking all the photography tonight. Uh, he's been doing it the last two days. Thank you, Kun Lert, for this picture as well. There's no one else left to thank. Tom's done a wonderful job of thanking everyone here um, this afternoon. And once again, just uh, on behalf of ISB and the high school, uh, please do put your hands together, particularly for our students uh, from who have come from all over the world to join us today, and also Alan. Um, well there is one person that Tom failed to thank, and actually that's himself. Um, the work that Tom Myers has uh, done in putting this festival together, 16 years, as he mentioned earlier, is a long time and this is my first. I'm very, very pleased, very proud once again of our students and our visiting students, but also of Tom and our music department. So please, put your hands together for Tom Myers for all of you. We are going to finish with music, so the band has one more song for you that is extremely fun. But before they play that song, I just want to let you know there's a reception outside in front where you can get some drinks and some snacks, and I'll try and get Alan out there if you want to get a picture or visit with him or whatever. So I look at this face every day and I keep thinking, honey, that could be worse, it could be you. But it's not, it's me, but uh, I do want to add some things here if it's all right. And first off, it's it's been just a joy to be here. I've had an absolutely phenomenal experience. 
both in this beautiful country, but with these beautiful children on stage. And, and I could tell you that it looks like it's all happening because it's me, but it's not. It's the work that all those teachers have done, sometimes over multiple years, to be able to have those students make that progress. So would you join me again in thanking the teachers for the work that they've done preparing the kids for this festival? And let me add my thanks to the ISB administration, the faculty and the staff have been so supportive of this festival. They've been awesome hosts, especially my good friend and colleague, Tom Myers. He's been the consummate host. He's been an incredible adventure that we've had on. And he's just so organized and has all these things on there. Uh, I've appreciated also uh, the work with Anthony Giles, his over thing, and Quang Guan, his assistant, who's done a lot of that work. Uh, my biggest thank you goes to these students on the stage. They, they've done everything I've asked, and I've put them in some challenging concepts out there to try to broaden their understanding, and I've asked for nothing less than their best, and they have responded so wonderfully. Um, these children are going to be the leaders of tomorrow, and I think we're in good hands. Would you thank them again? <laughs> and kids on stage, you owe your parents a big thank you for their encouragement, for their insistence, for their nagging, whatever it is. I mean, they've supported you financially and emotionally, and it's this feeling of their participation in music that brings such a rich impact to the part of their life. It's the balancing of education that has to do. We know from brain research that music makes a person smarter. But more importantly, it makes them balance out all the educational learning as they tap into each of their curricular areas in order to create this beautiful music and then share that with a cooperative spirit with others. And that's what's happening. Music is truly an incredible, lifelong experience. And I hope that you continue to insist on quality music programs in all the schools that are here. Join me in thanking them. They're just great group. So we'll close our concert with a just wonderful piece by Brian Balmages. Uh, it's entitled Jungle Dance.
what a, what a tremendous concert. Thank you so much for spending your afternoon with us and celebrating this music making, but also celebrating these kids. Uh, would you please join us outside uh, for a big reception? And we'll see you out there. Thank you.